Greetings everybody, it's Emily from Pages in Ink, and today I will be doing a video that was kind of suggested by an anod on Tumblr. I had asked my followers what video suggestions, or four video suggestions for videos I should do, and somebody on Anonymous uh, sent me an idea for a video where I shared with you guys um, the books I bought based on their covers, like how pretty they were or how interesting, and I thought it was a great idea, but then I realized I don't have as many books that that was the case as I thought I had. So I decided to do that and then add to it with something I realized, which was how many books I have because of Tumblr. So it's kind of a combination of the two, and I decided to call it Tumblr Made Me Do It. So I'm going to share with you guys all of the books that I got pretty much because I either saw them on Tumblr or someone had suggested them on Tumblr or I won them in a giveaway. So let's get started. I'm going to show you my giveaway books first. So first we have The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa, which I had been able to choose. Um, and I decided to pick this one because it seemed really interesting. It's about vampires and it was, I believe, under like 6 or under 12 or something. And I won this in a giveaway with Betwixt the Pages on um, Tumblr as it was like a friend giveaway. So you won the giveaway and you got to pick a friend to win the giveaway with you and that's where I got this one. Then I won another giveaway. I'm pretty sure that these were all from the same giveaway. It was someone's birthday giveaway, I believe, where they gave me some things that they made as well as a couple other books. Um, that they were getting rid of, I think. I got these three. I got The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, which I wonder if I can... Eventually, I think I'll probably read this to my godchild once I get him into reading. It's still a work in process, in progress, because I read to him for about ten minutes and then he wants to get up and run around and it's supposed to be his time to calm down for bed time. Anyway, I also have Ready Player One, which I read last year, and it was fantastic. This is by Ernest Klein. It's a dystopian, and it's based around video games. So if you like video games and dystopian worlds, here you go. It's awesome. Then I have Red Rising by Pierce Brown. The third, I don't know if it's the final, but the third book in this series came out this year um, called Rising Star, I believe. Something Star. Um, there's Red Rising, there's Golden Sun, and I'm pretty sure it's like Rising Star or something with a star, and it was all shiny and pretty. Um, I have not yet read this, but I, it's on my TBR, and I will get to it eventually. Just look at Pierce Brown. It's not bad looking. Moving on. So now I'm going to get into the books that um, I bought because of Tumblr or I was received because of Tumblr, like a friend on Tumblr gave it to me. Um, and I'm actually missing one. Oh god, don't drop on my head, please! Ah, fell on Ron's head. That's totally okay. Alright. You didn't see what it was, did you? Did you? Okay, so. Six of Crows. I'm actually also going to pull out, except they're all the way down at the bottom of this pile. My books are literally piled around me right now. Oh my god, why? <sighs> why can you not stay in piles? Why is this so difficult for you to do? Books. You're made to be stacked. Okay, so, these were all because of Tumblr. These were recommended to me by Liv on Tumblr, who is um, Rainy Day Coffee and Books, as well as on YouTube. She is Stories for Coffee, um, and they're fantastic books, and once I realized that a new series by Lee Bardugo was coming out, I had to get it. So indirectly, even though I had already read this series, indirectly this was the cause. Or the Tumblr was the cause. I mean, look at how gorgeous this book is. And, um... I was going to say something else, but I can't remember what it was. Um, 
Yeah, so I have Sexy Crows by Leigh Bardugo as well as Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Ruin and Rising. And this is the Grilla Trilogy. Gr Grilla. Grisha Trilogy. I have trouble talking today, apparently. That really sucks when you're trying to do videos. Grisha Trilogy, um, which is a fantastic series. Um, it's a high fantasy world with um, powers that are really cool. And so if you're like, if you like, if you're into high fantasy worlds with teens with powers and magical creatures, I recommend this series. And then you can do a video called, I or booktube made me did it, made me do it. Oh my god. Okay, next book I have is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir, which... I only know what I only knew at the time that it was coming out because of Tumblr. So this is a because of Tumblr. This was a really good read. It's one of those books where you read it and enjoyed it, and then for me anyway, um, like a couple days later, I was like, I need the next one. It needs to come out. I need to know what happens. So it like it snuck up on me, but it's fantastic. It's about a girl who is working with a like a rebel group. Um, in order to save her brother from the dungeons of the Empire, I believe, or the Republic or something. No, yeah, the Empire. Under the Martial Empire, there's a map of the world, as well as a map of a fortress where Laia goes to work. I believe it's Laia. It's Laia or something. L-A-I-A. -A. And her brother, Elias. And it's really dark because she has to be, she's put in a situation that could potentially be very dangerous. And she does get injured a couple times. And it's, but it's a really good book. It's a really good book. I'm really excited for A Torch Against the Night, which is the second book. And I'm pretty sure it comes out this year. So, excitement. Next book I have, the second book in the series came out recently. And it's not a part of this specific collection because um, the, the second book isn't really because of Tumblr, it's because I read the first book. Um, but the first book I blame Tumblr for, and that is Red Queen. I, I blame Tumblr and Epic Reads. Because Epic Reads raved about this for a long time, and when it came out I was like, mine! And I got it. And it's beautiful and fantastic. If you like books about magical powers um, and worlds where um, like a dystopian world where things need to change kind of because um, it's like a mixture of a high fantasy and a dystopian in a way yeah it's beautiful definitely recommend it there are people that did not enjoy it and a lot of that I believe from what I remember that I've seen a lot of it is characters and I kind of agree because the main character while she's a strong character like she's brave in a time where she should be afraid um, she can also be kind of a pain I really do need to read the second one which is Last Sword it's on my bookshelf it's just not a part of this next one I have is Lightning Thief which I bought from a thrift bookstore I forgot for how much, unless it was like six, something. This is because of Tumblr. My brother read these and the movies came out and I was just like, eh. But I see them so much on Tumblr, I was like, you know what? It's time for me to pick it up and read it. Still haven't read it, but it's on my to be to be our list. So, there you go. Next one, I actually wanted to give away and I totally forgot to add it to that pile. But that's Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor and I did not enjoy it as much as I thought I was going to. I believe I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. I liked the idea but it slowly kind of evolved into something that I'm not really all that impressed with. Um, I really wanted to see more of Kairu and her life in Prague before it really became wrapped up in Akiva, the angel dude that comes because um, it just kind of lost its to me. It just kind of didn't seem as interesting anymore. 
especially because of what he does, and she like forgives him, and I'm like, how can you? I don't. I just, yeah. How? And I can't. I can't. Well, but anyway. Okay, this is because of Tumblr as well as I got it from someone on Tumblr. Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe by Benjamin Eller says. Right? Allaire. And I got this from my friend Tyler. She even sent me a little card. Go with it. Because she went to the big Barnes and Noble in New York and she wanted to know um, if there were any books that she could or no. She was basically excited, and I was like, you should bring me some! Totally kidding! And she still picked it up for me anyway, and I'll love her forever for it. I love her forever for it. Thank you, Tyler. Okay. The next four, my boyfriend bought for me for Christmas, but he bought them for me because of Tumblr. Like, I, I picked them out for him to buy. <sighs> Fallen Kingdoms. Zodiac, Mistborn, and Scorpio races. This is the March Book of the Month in the Bell Cult. So eventually I will be reading this this month. I'm excited. I've heard good things. Um, but yes, so they are, they are all on my TBR. Um, and they're all because of Tumblr. I blame you all. I actually follow the author of Zodiac on Tumblr because of a giveaway a long time ago and I didn't want to unfollow her. So I've seen quite a bit of Zodiac and I'm really excited to read it and see what it's going to be like. Then I have This Is Where It Ends by Marie Knijkamp, I hope is how this said. I do have a book talk on this which I may link below, I might forget, um, but if you want to go find it, I have playlists and it's going to be easy to find in there. Um, this book I didn't love as much as I thought I was going to, and that's probably partially my fault, because if you've seen any of these books, most of these are sad, or like, negative in nature, so, and I don't mean negative like they're bad books, I mean like, they're really dark, so, giving me a dark book is just like, giving a kid another piece of candy, what does he care, it's candy, it's a book, that's got sad things. Um, but I bought this because of Tumblr. So, yeah. Then I have this one, which is kind of, I blame Tumblr for, but also it's kind of also Passenger's fault. That's Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. Susan and Alexandra Bracken, who wrote the Darkest Mind series, which, one, which is one of my favorite series as well as um, Passenger, which is her new series that started, uh, that came out in January of this year, and I believe Wayfair is supposed to come out January of next year. Um, but they went on tour together, so it's kind of Passenger's fault that I picked this up, because I watched their podcast, and they were really great, and they really talked about their books, and kind of sold them to me, and I'm excited to read it, but I indirectly blame Tumblr as well as Alex herself. Then I have a selection series, which is both blaming on Tumblr, and I got this from my friend Danny, who is Fancy Faye on Tumblr. Um, she accidentally bought two copies and offered to give me the second one, so I was like, yeah! So I have this one. And then these I got because I wanted to read them. I saw them all over Tumblr. I've seen all the epic read stuff, and I'm like, all right, I gotta pick it up. I gotta see what it's about. And it's not a bad series. America Singer kind of makes me angry because um, her her back and forthness, as well as her, um, and I also don't like the other guy in the kind of love triangle because he's just kind of an a hole. In a way, he's like the dark, brooding character that feels entitled to her love because he was the only one there for her, and I was just like, dude, there are other guys in this world. No, you're not the only one. There's there's no entitlement here. Which is kind of how I feel about Gale and how I feel about Tess and um, the Legend Trilogy. So, very similar feelings. To go over here and pull these 
all these back because they kind of fell over and I had to restack them over there. This one, They're Off in the Dawn by Renee Adhey. I originally read from the library, but um, I picked it up because of um, Tumblr. And I got this from a friend on Tumblr. That's my friend Pooja, who is um, the Evergreen Reader on Tumblr. And I got this from her for Christmas. Then I have The Fault in Our Stars, which I haven't actually read this book yet. But I've listened to the audiobook and I have seen the movie. Um, but this is pretty much because of Tumblr. The movie came out and I wanted to see it. And it was also all over Tumblr because the movie came out and I was like, alright, I need to go look at that. Then there is Angel Fall, which I saw all over Tumblr and decided to buy, I believe, just Angel Fall for. It was either just Angel Fall or about Angel Fall and World After, and I loved them. So I just had to get End of Days when it came out. Then I have the, the this is the last series that is because of Tumblr. And this is the Raven Cycle series, which has been all over Tumblr, especially recently, because the Raven King will be coming out, I believe, in April. So, there's quite a lot of that, so I blame Tumblr for that one. And then now I will talk about books that I bought um, solely based on how pretty their covers were. Some of these, um, actually most of these, I only have one currently with me. But almost all of these um, are ebooks, except for this one. Um, but I will go get my phone because I can show you the covers for my phone. So give me one second, all right, and I will be right back. And I have the books that I bought based on um, their covers. So eh. I did something I didn't want to do. I can put back something that I wanted to keep in my archives. Anyway, so I have Incarnate by Jody Meadows, which was beautiful, but when I read it, I wasn't really all that into it. There's Sin Eater's Daughter um, by Linda Salisbury that I haven't read yet, but looks pretty, and that's pretty much why I bought it. Um, I also have Cracked by Lisa Crew, which I didn't like as much as I thought I would, and These Broken Stars by um, Megan Spooner. Hold on. Yes, Megan Spooner and Amy Kaufman. I was like, who's the other one? And those people, or those those books, I bought based on their covers, um, but wasn't really into them as well as Seeker. I can get to where it is. Okay. And Seeker, right there, which I bought based on the cover, by Arwen Ellis Dayton, and wasn't all that into that one either. So, there are those, and then the final book that I bought solely based on its cover, and also a little bit because of the uh, summary, and that is A Whole New World, which is an Aladdin retelling, and like, look at, hold on. Let me, let me undress this. Look at this cover. It's beautiful. And this is by Liz Braswell. Alright, and that is all the books that I blame Tumblr for, as well as I bought solely based on their covers. Um, and that's all I have today. Um, I will probably, I say a lot of ums, and I'm sorry. Uh, I hope that I will be doing a Top 5 Wednesday video next week. Let me just look up the, uh, it, uh I'm trying to stop with the ah uh, and the um. I am trying to look up the topic and see if I will be doing it. So next Wednesday, yes, I will be. I'm excited for this one. Next week's topic is fictional items you want. So, for example, she has a couple of examples. 
the Invisibility Cloak from Harry Potter, Amplifiers from the Grisha Trilogy, etc. I am so excited because I already have quite a few of these items like in my mind. And I will definitely be doing a top 5 video next week, so look forward to that. Um, hopefully I will be finishing the Throne of Glass series that I have so far soon. Um, so that way, A, so my brother can leave me alone and read Queen of Shadows. And B, um, so I can read the Scorpio races and let you guys know what I thought about it. And I also asked for you guys to pick one of the books um, in my... Um, February wrap up March TBR to pick one of the books that I had held up as the book that I read after Scorpio races once I finished those if I finished them by the end of the month and I only got one response that was by my friend Sophia for Fallen Kingdoms and I will probably end up reading Fallen Kingdoms unless you guys want to give me more um, suggestions but they have to be based on the books that I had lifted up um, so Go check out that video. I will try to link it below as well as any and all book talks that I have on the books that I have shown you guys. And I will see you guys next time. Happy reading!